I'm sitting here waiting for my doctor's appointment. I know that there's a plague going on, so the appointments are usually over the phone, but I need to be seen face to face, this face, in front of the doctor's face. So I was reading Frank Tipler's second idiotic asinine book. This second one is called The Physics of Christianity. If that's not funny enough, read the dedication. I quote, To God's chosen people, the Jews, who for the first time in 2,000 years are advancing Christianity. End of quote. <laughs> that just cracks me up. Yeah. The book gets worse. The... You might recall the first Tipler idiotic book, The Physics of Immortality, and how physics proves that a god exists. The, I once met Tipler face to face, Professor Tipler. So it was at the Baxter Lecture Hall at California Institute of Technology, and he was giving a presentation there. And I was like in the the hallway where they had set up coffee donuts and there was a sofa couch next to there. So I ate eight donuts, washed it down with a cup of coffee, and then I took a nap. <laughs> and while I was dozing off waiting for the presentation, Professor Tipler came walking in and gave me a dirty look and then helped himself to a styrofoam cup and started to pour a uh, coffee into the cup. And while he was like halfway filling the, cat, the cup, I told him, uh, good morning, Professor Tipler. I read your book and I found hundreds of things wrong with it. This is how I start new friendships, you see. And the coffee that he was pouring paused and he slowly turned around to look at me and he said, then you did not understand it. I understood the book. I suspect he does not. <laughs> he wrote it and he does not understand what he wrote. Um, physics does not or do not offer any evidence or let alone proof that the gods exist. Uh, in the physics of immortality, of course, uh, the god that Professor Tipler was talking about is actually a massive supercomputer that humans will in the future create. And that was going to be our god. And during the omega point, when the universe collapses into a, a big crunch, the um, o omega point, um, that is when every possible human being will be simulated on this uh, infinitely powerful computer. It will simulate not only every human being, every possible human being, and every human being will have their most cherished and desired copy of human being. This is a physics professor, a mathematics and physics professor. Uh, needless to say, when I said I found hundreds of things wrong with it, I was being conservative <laughs> with... Uh, anyhow, here I sit, waiting for a doctor's appointment, reading this really stupid asinine book about Jesus and the Turing Shroud and all sorts of how the laws of physics support Christianity. Needless to say, three chapters in, I have found hundreds of things wrong with it. Good grief. 
I'm glad I got a copy for free.